Hello world and in this video I would like to show you how you can use Puppeteer with a proxy and during this demo I will show you two ways how you can achieve that how you can use proxy and first one is to configure Puppeteer to your specific proxy server uh, it means that in order to do that you need to already have a proxy servers that you're going to use and second approach is to use uh, proxy API services that will um, handle uh, proxies for you. Uh, for this demo purposes I'm gonna use a website called uh, whereismyipaddress.com and basically showing uh, your IP or it's better to say IP of uh, incoming request uh, which basically means if we're gonna open it in the browser we'll send direct request to the server and it will use IP of uh, incoming request but it also means that if you're gonna use proxy server uh, the website will use uh, IP address of incoming request which will be IP of the proxy server um, but let's go let's go to the demo part so I have this basic basic puppeteer script which is basically launching puppeteer and then trying to go to specific page URL which in our case is what is my IP address .com. Uh, in order to use proxy, uh, in order to use proxy, we just need to add additional property here in launch options, and it's gonna be, um, it's going to be args and proxy server, and here you need to specify IP address of your proxy server and also port. Um, I already prepared few uh, few proxy servers. Uh, and I found them on this yeah online there's plenty of websites where you can look for proxy servers there's one website there's another they all more or less look the same um, so yeah I just I just grabbed three that are working uh, so let's let's try to 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 use so we we provided IP and now we need to add port so basically now we're gonna launch this script which will open uh, puppeteer and will go to whatismyipaddress.com and we can see that actually now it's 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 thinking that we're coming from Argentina so so it's actually working let's try and use another AP address just go here and also need to provide port right let's try to rerun the script and now yeah now we can see it's completely different country Netherlands and also different IP so I guess you you got the idea you just need to have uh, either one specific proxy server you want to use or you would like to have list and switch between these different servers depending on your request and so on um, so let's go to another another approach is to use proxy API service. Um, there's also several services you can use, like with the example of uh, of this website. There's different websites, but basically they provide kind of kind of the same uh, data. Uh, but I'm gonna use website called uh, Proxybot. Uh, I just found it's 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 pretty it's very easy to use uh, so we just need to grab basically this part you just need to have your target website you want to open in our case it it is what is my address.com and then you need to prepend this URL with the proxy bot service uh, so let's let's actually grab the URL this one we go back to our script uh, we don't need the proxy setup anymore right because uh, service should should handle it and then we'll specify a new variable we're gonna call it proxy and we're gonna put our uh, service URL here we're gonna, we're gonna grab it and put just in front of our URL. 
which means that our page URL variable will not uh, will not will now now hold the um, proxy bot URL plus our desired target website. So let's try to run the script and see and see how it will work. Um, okay, so now you can see it's it's it looks like we're coming from from United States. Um, let's try to open it one more time and as you can see we don't need to specify proxy proxy server uh, because the proxy bot will actually get uh, every time you will call it it will give you a random IP address and new con uh, new country but in this case it looks like it's giving again United States but as I saw on the on documentation you can specify a specific country let's say you want to use a server located in uh, Germany or European Union let's try and get the European Union so in this case you just need to add additional URL param with the geolocation code so we're just gonna go here and uh, and then we're gonna put um, so basically geolocation code European Union and then URL right so now what we would like to see is that when we're gonna run script uh, website should show us that we're coming from European Union okay so United Kingdom looks like it's working uh, let's try to run it one more time yeah Sweden one more time hopefully it's gonna be a new country Spain yeah so it's working so yeah, I guess guys, you can you can see already how you can benefit from how you can benefit from these services. Uh, I just give you example um, how I how I use this service um, because I wanted to get I wanted to web scrap uh, one of the web shops and get prices of different items, but since I'm currently located in Denmark, the website was showing me. Uh, Danish currency by default which was not useful for me so I wanted to you know pretend I'm coming from United States so that I can see prices and uh, in in dollars basically so in this case the service was pretty pretty useful because I was just able to say okay uh, give me server located in the United States and I'm just gonna put the Etsy.com and we're gonna run the script and what we would like to see is to uh, to have prices in in dollars and it actually in in dollars and you can go with the same approach and open a uh, website let's say from European Union and prices will be in uh, in in euro right so this is the main idea how it's working uh, guys, I hope it was uh, I hope it was useful. You learned something new. If you have any questions, just uh, write down in the comments, and I'll try to to answer you. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. Uh, bye and uh, have a nice day. See you later.